All right, guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see uh, different kinds of ensemble techniques. Ensembling is very helpful if you want to utilize uh, multiple uh, models. So each model can capture different information. So you can able to get the results from each of the models and uh, make a decision on the final result. So we are going to see like different uh, ensembling techniques uh, for a classification problem. Let's dive into the video now. First, I'm gonna import a data set. For this, I'm gonna use wine quality uh, data. It can be used as both uh, regression and uh, classification uh, uh, problem. So that's why I'm just going to use wine quality. So this is the wine quality data. I'll just drop this type because it's not needed. So df dot drop columns. I'll just drop the type and I will retain everything. So this is the data set we are going to use. And after that, I'm gonna split the data set for training and testing. So for that, from sklearn.model selection, import train test split, x train, x test, y train, y test equals train test split off input output okay that we didn't do that yet we'll just do it right now test split test split equals 0 0.25 i'm just going to take like 25 percentage of uh, samples for uh, test data and i will also specify random state equals 42 in order to get the same results again and again and i will also use stratify stratify equals y so this will just uniformly distribute the class before that i will split the input and the output so for this i'm gonna use the same syntax so i'll just reuse it instead of type i'm gonna drop the quality quality and for the output I will take the quality quality run this run this okay I think test size it is okay uh, we have split at the data set now first we are going to see voting classifier voting classifier okay so for this uh, we are going to import a module from sklearn.ensemble import voting classifier apart from that I will also import a tree based module I will import random forest classifier and I will also import some simple module so I'll say sklearn.linear model import logistic regression. Um, I'll also import one more module from sklearn.neighbors import k nearest neighbors classifier. So I'm gonna use three different models. I'm gonna combine three different model results and uh, use the voting classifier in order to get the final result. Maybe before that, I will just use only a uh, lo logistic regression to get the result. So I'll say model dot model equals logistic regression, and here model dot fit x train y train and model dot score x test comma y test let's run this so this will be the accuracy input contains nan infinity or a value too large i think this has some null values i'll just replace it with uh, minus two so df equals df dot fill na I'll just uh, replace it with minus two. This is like a quick 
uh, filling of null values. Okay, I'm just getting 46% uh, accuracy. So this is uh, using logistic regression. Now let's combine all these uh, modules here. Now I'll create model one, logistic regression. Model two, okay, nearest neighbors. And model three, random forest. Okay, these are the three models I'm gonna use. And finally, I'm going to create a model using voting classifier. Voting classifier of estimators equals in a list. I'm gonna create the pipeline kind of a thing. So logistic regression, that will be model one. After that, uh, KNN, so KN. That will be model two. Lastly, we have random forest. So I'll say RF equals model three. And uh, another parameter is voting. Voting can be hard or soft. Soft means it will use the probability uh, to decide the vote. Hard means it will uh, take the end results and uh, do the voting. So hard means if two models predicted one category means it will just uh, take that uh, category as the end result. Soft means it will use all the probability score and uh, add it or do the average. And uh, finally, based on the probability, it will uh, give you the result. So uh, most of the time uh, you have to choose the voting. So you can uh, choose between hard or soft. And after that model dot fit. I will pass X train and Y train. Finally, model dot score. X test and Y test. So this will combine um, all these uh, model result into a single model. See, it increased the result from 0 0.46 to 0 0.63. So this simpler models like uh, logistic regression and um, uh, KNN, it, it will capture like um, uh, simple information. It won't capture like too many minute details, but random forest can able to capture uh, uh, minute details because it's like a tree based uh, classifier and it's like a complex algorithm. Combining both these algorithm will give you a generalized score. So that's how uh, we are getting this. So let's uh, see what is giving for hard. So 63 is the accuracy. So for hard, it's giving around a six zero. So as I said, you can just go for soft itself because it's giving more accuracy based on the probability scores. I'll also comment it. Soft probability, probability scores. It will use the probability scores. And hard, uh, take the majority class. Okay. So this is how voting classifier works. And the next one is uh, averaging. Averaging. So most of the time we will just use a voting classifier or a voting regressor uh, for both classification and regression problems. Apart from that, uh, we have like a few more basic techniques that is averaging. You will be just averaging the probability of uh, each class uh, similar to how we are uh, using uh, soft here. So we will uh, get the results from each model and uh, average it. It can also be used for regression model. You will be just averaging the end results. So let's do that now. So I'm going to copy the same models here, paste it. And after that, I'm going to train it. So model one dot fit X train comma Y train. So I'll just uh, repeat again. So this will be two, this will be three. Now we are going to do the prediction. We are going to just getting the probability. So I'll say model one dot predict probability, probability 
x test similarly we will be getting the prediction for uh, remaining two models so this will be two three two three okay finally all the prediction has been done final final prediction equals pred1 plus pred2 plus pred3 divided by 3 so we have like three different uh, prediction probability and we are just averaging all the prediction probability and get the final result so let's run this now let's display the final prediction how it looks like so we have around, uh, let's see the number of classes first. SNS dot count plot of Y. So we have around uh, seven different classes. So we have like seven uh, probabilities. And from this, uh, we have to get the highest probability. It will just average of these three. So from this, you have to get the highest probability. So in order to get the actual class result, what you can do is uh, you can uh, get the class using like a loop. So I will say prediction equals a list. So for result in final pred, final pred, np dot org max of res, I'll just run it once. Okay, I'll just have to print it also to check whether it's displaying the class. Okay, it is displaying the class. Now I will say prediction dot append np dot org max. And after that I will calculate the score. I think for that you have to import another module from sklearn dot metrics import accuracy now accuracy score of uh, true values that is y test and uh, prediction values that is prediction okay now i have found the issue the argmax usually get the index of the maximum probability so it will be just starting from zero that's why we are getting the result like this so this classes is like starting from three. So to do that, we can just have like plus three here. Now run this, run this. Now you can see uh, by averaging the probabilities, we are getting around 63.5 accuracy. It's actually uh, an improvement of voting classifier. So averaging is also very much helpful for you. And uh, this is one way of doing. And the other technique is weighted average weighted average so the whole uh, process is almost the same so we'll be just uh, copy and paste the same thing here uh, the only difference is we are going to assign some weights for each model so we will just uh, copy the remaining stuff whatever we need okay now in the probability, we are going to do the average, but we are going to assign weights. So here I'm going to assign like 0.3 percentage for uh, logistic regression, like 30 percentage. So 0.3. Prediction 2 is also 0.3. And uh, finally, uh, for random forest, I'm going to assign uh, more weightage that is 0 0.4 because I am considering a random forest will classify much more better than this other uh, simple models. So I'm going to go with this. Let's run this. Okay. Now you can definitely uh, see an improvement from 63.5. It has been increased to 63. It has been increased to 65.4. It's a 2% increase because of assigning the weightage. Let's change the weightage now. Here it is 0 0.3 and uh, I'm giving more importance to logistic regression. Now the accuracy got decreased because uh, logistic regression didn't uh, predict the results that much well. 
So again, I'll go back to the same. Now I'm gonna go with a different one. Instead of uh, 30 percentage, I'm gonna give like 25 percentage each and random forest will cover the majority. Run this, run this. Now it has been increased to 66. So based on the weightage you want to give uh, to the model, you can uh, specify the probabilities here and uh, you can get more accuracy depends on the data set. So these are the basic uh, ensembling techniques you can use when you are uh, competing in some Kaggle contest or hackathons. This will be very helpful in order to get some higher results and to top the leaderboard. Apart from that, uh, you can also have like advanced ensemble uh, techniques, advanced ensembling. So this will uh, require like more code and it's like somewhat complex. I will cover it in a separate video. So this topic will include uh, stacking, blending and uh, bagging is also there. Lastly, we have boosting. So these are the ensembling techniques and we can also have like uh, multiple algorithms. So algorithms, I'll say ensemble algorithms, ensemble algorithms. So here for bagging, we have a, a random forest and a bagging classifier. So random forest bagging classifier is also there and uh, we have boosting for boosting we have uh, uh, gbm gradient boost and uh, xg boost xg boost light gbm cat boost so these are some of the boosting techniques so if you don't want to go with these um, ensembling techniques means uh, you can uh, go with this uh, kind of algorithms or uh, what you can do is you can combine uh, both of these things like this like i have done i also included like uh, the bagging algorithm here so you can uh, do a combination and uh, get a different uh, results so it all depends on your uh, analysis and your uh, creativity and uh, you also have to consider the scenario you are in so I think that's it guys. We have covered most of the uh, basic ensembling techniques you can use uh, in uh, most of the problems. If you have any queries regarding this, please leave a comment below. I will definitely answer those questions. Apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. See you guys in the next video.